So what we've got in Stoke Newington is a sort of vibrant community-based system which is providing up to 3,000 people with organic seasonal local food each week. We're harnessing the buying power of all those people in, the, in our community and we're focusing it directly towards those farmers and those people that are growing. We're actually using it to, to change what we eat and how we eat and how it's farmed. No, I find it quite inspirational what, what the Brown Community is doing in London, you know, here. I think it's a really nice kind of blueprint. It means everyone, I think everyone gains, you know, have a bit more time, you know, sort of a bit slower, isn't it, than rushing into Tesco's or somewhere. And it seems to be a nice community, as you can kind of see around. It's, you know, people bring their kids and have a kind of day out. I'm really uh, happy to be taking part in this. I'm um, so feeling that I'm doing something about changing the way in which um, our food is supplied. To us. When you walk in, it's, it's uh, everything's friendly, you know, you're clicking it, you're chatting, you're catching up. It's, it is like a community, yeah. It's changed the way I shop, so I hardly ever go to the supermarket anymore. Uh, I would hate to move away from here because I think it's marvellous to have an all organic, half fresh produce every week. I've seen it at farmers markets everywhere, uh, elsewhere in the country, and none of them come up to this one. Um, to me, growing communities is, well, it's, it's so very much. I, 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 very passionate about organics and, and lo local food and working here means I don't have to compromise at all in that. Uh, I've been very happy about the reaction to my food uh, from people here. I think I've built up a good reputation here, you know, amongst people in Stoke Newington and uh, so, yeah, I mean it's been very, very positive for me. I've got an organic uh, vegetable uh, stall here with everything that we grow on our farm in Tillingham, so it's a wide range of seasonal vegetables. I also supply some vegetables for your box scheme. I feel that you've got your ethics and you really stand by them, which as a grower is a, is a huge benefit in this day and age because lots and lots of people appreciate the effort that goes into producing food, especially organically. And by me coming up here to the farmer's market, I'm then able to employ more local people in the area so I'm providing jobs within my village. We'd rather give our money to Great. people that we have a relationship with than not, which is what which is why we're here. What I really like is that everything is sourced as locally as possible and the fact of coming in person to do the pickup, you get to meet everybody else who's involved and I really like that sort of human touch. I was uh, the apprentice grower last year so it was um, a training place for me. Yeah I mean it's like I've strong connection with the salad that's grown because we've you know, spent hours packing into little bags and you know, I know exactly what's gone into it and, and what's behind it sort of thing. A lot of sort of pride in that really. Uh, it's good, you know, it's good atmosphere, uh, good community spirit. It's nice, especially when you work on a farm all week on your own, to uh, come and meet like-minded people and it gives you a big lift actually, especially if you're feeling a bit down, you know, so you come here and People appreciate what you're doing, and that means a lot to us. I'm very much against supermarkets. I like to use local shops and um, sources, and it sort of helps the farmers to get a proper price for their produce. Well, now I can eat organic, and before I couldn't. Because of the quality of the food that we get, and it's fresh. It's not like stored months and months, and everything that we get is seasonal. That's why I come. I like uh, that I don't know what I'm going to get in my vegetable bag. <laughs> it means I can eat healthy every week for cheap. Um, and as time's progressed, we've uh, grown with the help of growing communities to uh, take on more land and put into organic conversion, which has enabled us to, uh, to do the pigs, the beef, expand the flock of sheep um, yeah. and plant another orchard. Chatting to the storeholders and actually making that relationship. Um, so for example, I'm going to go and visit the beet people in the autumn. Uh, down at the farm to see what my turkey's like before it's dead, <laughs> for example. We have Global Fusion, which is a sort of Creole cake store. Um, we're a small family business, and it's sort of been a lifeline. I feel that sustainability is not just for rich people. And in an area like Hackney, you know, it's important that people who maybe are on a small budget can afford to eat good food. It's a viable and practical way of getting people to eat food that hasn't been flown thousands of miles around the world. I work as a general support worker on Wednesdays and Fridays I do accounting and on Saturdays I do coffee in the farmer's market. I'm not from this country. Um, since I came here I've been doing a lot of different work but this is the first time I'm actually starting to enjoy my work because of 
how people work here and everybody respects each other. And uh, as I said earlier, that we all try to help each other. Acting locally, thinking globally. A way of putting ethics into practice. I feel that growing communities and what we have to offer could be part of this positive vision for the future. That If we can get other communities in other parts of London and indeed other urban areas to, to be able to follow the elements of that model, then we can start to have a real impact on how, how we feed ourselves in a much wider sense. But we really, really have to start getting on with it and I feel a, a huge sense of urgency about that. We need to act. We need to act.